guys welcome back to my channel i wanted to show you guys how to recreate this look today i decided to go with something that was a little bit on the smokier side but i didn't add any false lashes and i kept the lips on a nude peachy shade so this is a very wearable daytime smoky eye look i incorporated black and also brown and i didn't want to do anything too extreme just something that was very more simple and not so black kind of with brown and black so it's just not too much when you're going out and you just want to wear something a little bit out of your comfort zone do something different but still keep it smoky so i thought you guys would really like this also i wanted to add this is a look i did with perfect 365 i mentioned in past videos about perfect 365 i'm going to link in the description box the look in the app where you can filter yourself and get this exact same look without using any makeup so it's pretty cool i'll leave it down below for you guys to check out but if you want to know how to get this look please keep watching and i will show you how all right guys, so first I'm gonna be priming the skin and I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This has easily become one of my favorite primers and I use this almost every day now. I've really, really been loving it. And to follow up with primer, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I'm using the shade Nude and Ivory Mixed and I just like to dot this on my face and then go in with a damp beauty blender and then blend it out. It's really nice because it is very light on the skin, but it gives really great coverage. So this definitely is also one of my favorite foundations I've ever used, and I seriously can't get enough of it. I love it so, so much. So next I'm gonna be concealing, and I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer. I hadn't used this in a really long time. I forgot how amazing it was. It has a lot of coverage. It is on the drier side, but I do really like the coverage that it gives. I use the shade Vanilla, and I like to blend this out with a damp beauty blender as well. So next I'm gonna be baking my foundation and concealer. So first I go in with the MAC Pro Set Powder and I go in with a thin layer and then I apply a little bit more. And then I'm gonna let this sit basically for five to 10 minutes. I usually do my brows while this is baking. I like to do this for glam looks because this keeps my makeup on all night. My makeup does not budge. It is pretty much bulletproof when I do this. So while that sets, I'm going to fill in my brows and I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm using the shade Soft Brown and I'm just gonna go in and outline my brows first, kind of give them a little definition. And then I like to go back in with the Brow Duo, which is the brow powder by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm also using the shade Soft Brown, which I think is a really nice color that complements my eyebrows. It's not too dark and it matches pretty well. And then afterward, I like to set it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel and I use the shade Espresso. So next I like to set the places that I didn't bake with a powder and I'm using the Urban Decay powder and I'm using the shade Fair Neutral. I'm just going to set those areas. And then I like to go in with a fluffy brush and just dust away all that baking powder. And as you can see, it did give a really nice highlighting effect, but ultimately this will keep my makeup on for a very long period of time, which I really like. So next I'm gonna be going in with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'm also going to bring this onto my forehead to warm up my complexion and just give a little bit more definition to my face. Next I'm gonna be highlighting and I'm using the Becca Pearl Highlighter. This is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. And I'm just going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones and also on the bridge of my nose. So next I'm going to be applying Studio Makeup Blush and this is in the shade Wildflower. I've always really liked this blush and I've been using it a lot lately. I just think it's the perfect neutral pink color and it really complements fair skin tones. So next I'm going to be priming my lids using the Kat Von D High Voltage Eyeshadow Primer. My all time favorite, I've raved about this so much that you guys already know that I absolutely love this product so, so much. So next I'm gonna go in with the shade Mirage by Makeup Geek and this is just going to set my entire lid. This is a very creamy white shade. For the crease of my eye, I'm gonna be going in with Peach Smoothie which is pretty much the perfect crease shade in my opinion. It's just very light, not too dark and for this look, it will make the colors blend so well. It's very Peach Smoothie-ish. 
So next I'm gonna go in with Chickadee, which is a more orangey shade. I'm gonna apply this in the upper crease and just blend it upwards so it fades out very nicely. And I'm using a Sigma E40 brush to apply that color. So next I'm gonna take the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Eyeliner Pencil and this is just in a black shade and I'm going to apply this to my lash line and then bring it upwards a little bit. If you don't have this perfect, it really doesn't matter because we're gonna blend it out and we're gonna be doing a ton of blending so it really doesn't matter if you don't get it perfect. Just apply this and then I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek Corrupt which is just a black shade and I'm using this on a flat brush and kind of bringing it upward. We're just applying this in a thin layer and then we're gonna go in with Cocoa Bear which is a warm brown shade by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to blend this on the lid. The black is going to end up disappearing from all the blending that we're gonna do so we're gonna have to go back and add some more in towards the end but for now just take Cocoa Bear and blend this onto your lid making sure that you just blend it really nicely so it's not spotty, it's not splotchy. And this is really nice against the color Chickadee, it just blends so well. I'm still using the shade Cocoa Bear and I'm bringing this on the lower lash line. I just wanted to wrap this warm brown color all the way around my eye so it gives a nice smoky effect. And then I'm going back in with that E40 brush and I'm just blending all of that together so it's seamless. Next, I'm applying a bit of translucent powder under my eyes so when I go back in with the black, I don't get any more fallout. So I went right back into the black again and I'm just layering this on like I did before and then blending it out again with a different brush. This look honestly requires a lot of blending so don't be afraid. I'm gonna go back in with Cocoa Bear again and blend that right on top of Corrupt and then I just continue to blend. So basically, this whole eye look is all about blending. Then I just go in with a clean brush and once again blend that upper crease. So next I'm going to take the shade Mirage and I'm going to apply this to the brow bone. This is just a really nice creamy white. It does have a little bit of yellow undertones in it which I really like because it's not too much for the brow bone. So next I'm going to go in with an inner tear duct highlight. I'm using MAC Nylon which is my all time favorite for the inner tear duct. I'm just going to apply this there and then start to bring it up onto the lid slightly. So next I'm just going to brush away that excess powder and feel free to apply your highlighter again. I know it probably got lost in all that powder, but this definitely saved my eyes from getting a ton of fallout. So next I'm going to apply Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I didn't want to apply any false lashes for this look because I felt the smoky look was fine by itself and I really, really like it with just mascara. So next I'm going to apply Ex-Girlfriend Lip Liner by Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani. This is literally the perfect nude lip liner. It's just very neutral and matches so many lipsticks. So for lipstick, I'm using a liquid lipstick. This is by Dose of Colors and this is in the shade Bear With Me. This is just a really pretty, neutral peachy nude shade definitely one of my go-to shades and the dose of colors liquid lipsticks have always been one of my favorites i have almost all of them because i just love them so so much but this one is definitely my favorite out of all of them all right guys that is it for this look i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next tutorial